Hey guys, this is Sunsfan with a spotlight video for items classified as armor. Leather armor is a 3 gold basic armor item that provides plus 1 armor. Cheap and effective. Barbed mail is a 6 gold common armor that provides a hero with plus 1 armor and plus 2 retaliate. Retaliate can stack additively with other skills that provide the same function. Stonehall plate is a 6 gold common armor which provides plus 1 armor. It also reads that after the combat phase, it'll modify itself with plus one more armor. This can stack up very quickly and scales well. Chainmail is a seven gold common armor that gives plus two armor to a hero. This is basically the upgraded version of leather armor. Keenfolk plate is an eight gold uncommon armor that provides plus one armor right off the bat. It'll also add plus one armor for each unit that's targeting the hero. This is kind of like a souped up version of Timbersaw's passive. In theory, this can give plus four armor for a round. Bracers of Sacrifice is an eight gold rare armor that gives plus two armor passively. It also comes with an active that can be used every single round, much to Rix's delight. When used, it'll condemn your hero and then deal six damage to all of the hero's enemy neighbors. This can be a good way to clear the wave or simply get your hero out of a dead lane. Shield of Basilius is an eight gold common armor that gives plus two armor for the equipped hero. It also provides their allied neighbors with plus one armor, which is Farvon's passive in item form. Rumusk Vestments is a nine gold common armor that provides plus one armor as well as an active which can be used every two rounds. When used, it'll allow you to heal a unit for four. This provides very little armor for the price, but healing can be incredibly useful. Shield of Aquila is a 10 gold rare armor that gives plus two armor to the equipped hero, along with plus three armor to its allied neighbors. This is kind of like an upgraded Shield of Basilius, except more armor is actually given to your allies. Seraphim Shield is a 13 gold rare armor that gives plus two armor. It also will lower the attack of all units in the lane by two. This can be the ultimate stalling tool for a lane that's already lost. Creeps will do zero damage because of this bad boy, but keep in mind it is a mirrored effect. Plate Mail is a 15 gold uncommon armor that gives plus four armor to a hero. Similar to other item categories, there are three items that give raw stats that have obvious relation to one another. There's leather armor, then chain mail, followed by, of course, plate mail. Shiva's Guard is a 16 gold rare armor that gives plus two armor, as well as an active that can be used every two rounds. When activated, it'll modify a unit and its allied neighbors with minus two attack. This is a crazy item as every two rounds, you can permanently lower damage to up to three enemies. Helm of the Dominator is a 19 gold uncommon armor that gives plus three armor and an active with a two round cooldown. When used, you have the ability to permanently gain control of an enemy creep. This is a very powerful item that can turn the tide of battle. It's a Chen active with half the cooldown. Vesture of the Tyrant is a 19 gold rare armor that provides plus three armor to the hero and tower. It also gives your hero rapid deployment, meaning if they die, they'll come back the very next round. This is a ridiculously powerful item. Three armor to a tower should not be underestimated. And of course, coming back to life the very next round is pretty game breaking, especially on super late game heroes. Nektasha's Guard is a 25 gold rare armor that provides a measly one armor, but also an active that can be used every single round. When activated, it'll move the equipped hero's enemy neighbors to random other lanes. Wow. This is easily the best finisher in the armor item category. This is a souped up version of Beastmaster's Roar on crack. The funny thing is, as powerful as this item can be, it's still quite situational. It's not exactly something you'll want to use constantly depending on the state of the rest of your lanes. But again, an amazing finisher. To see the ratings of every card from professional players, be sure to visit artifaction.gg. If you want to be featured on this channel, you can also submit memorable clips you see on stream to us at artifaction.gg slash submit. Thanks for watching and subscribing to Artifact Cinema. Be sure to click that bell icon in order to get notified when we put up a new spotlight or guide.